welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine destine back with a new video if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's goody we are back i'm gonna be doing maintenance yay we love a good maintenance vlog so you guys i'm gonna be doing a hair install i'm gonna be doing my nails i'm gonna be waxing so yeah it's gonna be an overall maintenance vlog it's been a minute since i gave you guys one of these and I know you guys love them so much, just as much as I love them, so yeah! Today's maintenance vlog is sponsored by Love Me Hair. Shout out to Love Me Hair for sponsoring today's maintenance vlog and sending me this gorgeous wig that I'm going to be installing later on in this video. So make sure you guys keep watching so you can see the install, so that you can see me go from drab to fab. Okay, period. And yeah, let's just get right into her. Okay, so we're starting off with our nails. I'm gonna be buffing my nails, um, filing them down, but make sure I'm buffing the top layer off, pushing my cuticles back, um, and cleaning up my cuticles. And that's my nails. And then I'm gonna take my dehydrator and I'm gonna apply that first. Then go in with nail primer and apply my primer to my nails. And then I'm going to go into the Gel X Sculpted um, Extra Extra Long a prey nails and I'm gonna pick out the sizing for each finger so that they fit I do that but for both hands and then I don't have a nail an e-drill right now because mine actually broke well now I have a new one but at the time of filming this video I didn't have one so I cut the nails down and then I applied primer on the inside of the nails because I was told previously under another video that if you don't have an e-drill you can just apply primer and it's still gonna work it kind of worked for some of the nails but i did have two pop off early which i thought was like weird but i'm pretty sure it's because of that i went and i applied my foundation which is base coat you want to do two layers of base coat um and then i'm applying the apre gel x um builder gel that comes in the gold bottle to each nail and then i'm applying the nail with pressure to my fingers i'm going through this kind of fast because i've done this so many times on my channel and i just wanted to like get to the actual you know design of the nails but i applied all of my nails they're already sculpted so you don't have to do much shaping but i do make them very sharp and square because i like a very sharp and square nail and then I'm going in with this um, pink gel polish that I got off of Amazon. It's my absolute favorite. It's literally like the perfect shade of pink for French and it works on every skin tone. Love it so much. I do two layers of that before I go in. And after I apply both layers, it's becoming a little bit more opaque. It still has like a, a little bit of a translucent, but it's a bit more opaque than just one layer. That's what it looks like. I did both hands. And now it's actually time to go in with top coat. I don't normally do this, but for this design I had to. So I did a single layer of top coat on all of the nails. And it's because I'm gonna be using a chrome powder, which you guys will see in a bit. And in order for that to not stick to the pink part of the nail and only stick to the part of the nail that I want it to stick to, I have to you know, set everything in place with the top coat. So I did that and now I'm taking alcohol and I'm cleaning off the sticky layer. That's what my nails look like. Now I'm going in with black gel polish that I got off of Amazon as well. And I'm going to be doing a French design. So my chrome is going to be chrome French. Saw this all over Pinterest. I kept saving the design to my Pinterest board and I was like, you know what? It's time that you actually do it. Um, I thought this was super cute. And yeah, this is just me doing my French like... I use this little nail brush that I got from Michaels. It's not a nail brush, I'm sorry. It's a little like paint brush, but I use it for my nails. Um, and I'm doing my black branch. I cure that for 60 seconds. Um, did all my fingers. Look at the thumb. Boom. Then I got this Born Pretty Chrome Powder. It's like a pack of four. And it was like $8. Got it off of Amazon. Because the black is still sticky because I didn't set it, you know, with the top coat, like I didn't cure it with top coat or anything, the chrome is going to stick, the powder is going to stick to whatever's sticky on the nail, which is why it was important that we put top coat on the pink part so that it doesn't stick to the pink. Unless you wanted to do a full nail, then you can do it like that, but I was specifically doing French, so hopefully that makes sense. I went and I cured, well, I applied top coat to just the French part. 
and then I cured it 60 seconds and now I'm buffing off the sticky layer because I'm gonna go in with some nail charms. I also got these nail charms off of Amazon. They're little chrome hearts inspired nail charms. Like they literally just look like little chrome hearts crosses and stuff. Taking this builder gel that I got off of Amazon and literally every single time I take say Amazon, like take a shot, like it's given drinking game because I keep saying Amazon but everything is from Amazon um it's okay though but anyway apply those to whatever fingers you want I picked three fingers on each hand um did my thumbs on both hands and I kind of like alternated the fingers that I did on my like the rest of my hand applied more top coat um just to encapsulate it but a thin layer not super thick you don't want it to look big and bulky just a thin layer Cured that for 60 seconds, applying my cuticle oil, and they're done. You guys, I finished doing my nails. They came out so good. Ah, I'm so excited. I obviously went for like a chrome hearts dial. I don't know, I saw this all over Pinterest. And I wanted to do the chrome nails, but I was like, how can I zhuzh it up? You know, like how can I take it to the next? level so we did the little chrome hearts charms chrome hearts inspired charms i got all of this stuff off of amazon everything will be linked down below in my amazon storefront and in the description box for you guys like but i'll put everything in an idealist on my storefront so you guys can just all find it in one place but it came out so cute like literally a down so yeah nails are done first part of maintenance now i need to wax but i know i need to wax i think i want to laminate my brows as well because i haven't done that in so long we have a hair install to do i wanted to just get my nails out of the way because you know i don't really feel like it's maintenance unless my nails are done they're just so cute they're so grunge and edgy. Okay, so I'm out to wax my underarms. This is what they look like. This is like, I don't know, two, maybe three weeks. Honestly, I don't get a lot of hair. And I think it's because I've been waxing for so many years that I just don't get a lot of hair. Like, I have a bald spot here. <laughs> I have another one right here. I don't know. I'm just not super duper hairy, but I definitely want to wax. I also have a ball saw right here. You want to make sure the hair is rice grain length and you want to use a powder to dry up the area. So I have some cornstarch and I try to get this done in one piece, but if I have to go over it again one time, I usually get it done like in two tote, like two tops. So this is my wax warmer. It's real crusty looking now, but the wax is not in there. I took the bowl out. But yeah, this is my little wax warmer I got off of Amazon and it was $20 and I think this is just a really great way to be on top of your maintenance at home but it not be super expensive. Like once you get used to it, if you go to get waxes, then you're going to be used to, you know, the feeling. Oh my gosh, I haven't had my nails long in so long, like it's been months since my nails have been this long because even when i was doing my nails a couple of weeks ago i was doing short sets and i just feel like i forgot how to function with super long nails like i just feel like a baby deer or something i'm having trouble doing everything <laughs> um but they're super cute so i'm not mad at it this one piece looking like it might do the job so yeah you want to take the wax like little pot out of the warmer so that the wax can start to cool down and when you apply it you want the texture or the consistency to be like i would say like peanut butter you don't want it super runny because then that means it's too hot and it's too liquidy it's gonna drip everywhere but it also might burn you and if it burns your skin then it will cause hyperpigmentation which will cause your armpits to look darker if you're waxing you want to make sure that the wax is actually like this is warm like this didn't burn going on it's not too hot and then as it cools down you're gonna rip it off but you don't want to apply it obviously when it's too cool down because then it's gonna hurt because it's gonna be dragging on the hairs you guys saw it was like a nice little ball on the stick this feeling it's like I, n I feel like i never get used to it but i'm used to it you know like it hurts still but it's not like terrible <sighs> Oh, that was pretty good. Like, I don't, I'm actually, 
I feel like I could get, I literally have like maybe like a couple of hairs. I can get those with a tweezer. Second arm. This one's gonna hurt. She's bare. I waxed my face last week, so I'm not gonna be waxing again. We are gonna laminate our brows next. I don't know, I kind of just want to do it. Like I've kind of forgot that I had this stuff to do it and I saw it when I was putting my nail stuff back and I was like, hmm, let's throw in a brow lamination in this maintenance. Okay, so if you're no stranger to my channel, if you're not new here, then you've seen me use this a bajillion times. It's a lash, a lash lifting kit, but I also use it to laminate my brows. Like I literally have a video that went semi-viral like 200,000 views or something like that of me laminating my brows at home so yeah I'm sticking to what I know there's a ton of like kits now all over Amazon like ones that specifically say brow lamination it's the same thing this was $20 I'm familiar with this product which is why I use it I'm gonna do the lash glue that comes in the kit and brush my brows up so I'm taking so I took the lash glue and now I'm brushing my brow hairs in the direction I want them to lay, but it just gives me like a fuller, fluffier looking brow, which I love. I like this fluffier, fuller looking brow. Alrighty, so I've got both of them glued in the way that I want them to lay. And then I'm gonna go in with the perm, which is bottle number one here. And I'm gonna apply that to my brows. I'm gonna use one of these little like um, brush thingies that came in the pack. And um, all of these items I got off of Amazon, the wax, the wax beads, um, the brow lamination kit, the lash lift kit, whatever you wanna call it. Um, everything's from Amazon, so guess what? It'll be linked on my Amazon storefront. So you guys can go and check that out. Um, and if you bought before, because I recommend it, then you can comment down below and let me know if you like it. But you want to apply this to your brows. And then we're going to cover it with some saran wrap and let it sit. Eight. And I'm going to put a timer for eight minutes because I feel like two minutes has passed since I applied it. And I don't want to leave it on too long. So I got an eight minute timer going. Eight minutes has passed. And then I'm taking the Y tool that comes in the kit with the comb side and I'm going to comb the product out and then take the flat side, comb it out and then wipe her away. Two, which is the blue bottle. I don't know exactly what this does. I think it neutralizes the perm if I'm not mistaken, but don't quote me on that. And then I just flip my saran wrap to the other side. And I'm going to apply it back on my brows and set another eight minute timer. Alrighty, this is done cooking. I need a trim. This is my favorite brow, my left brow. It's perfect. It's literally perfection. This one, I'm like, what, the f what are you doing? Like, what, what are you doing? See how this one's just like, the shape is there, everything is there girl a mess but you look a mess then you're gonna take bottle number four which is the cleanser and just take it on the cotton pad the cotton round and then the last the last step is number three which is the nutrition the oil literally looks so good i feel cute i'm definitely feeling like i'm getting cuter it really doesn't set in for me though until my hair is done so like that's the next thing we're gonna be doing because i literally like i need my hair done but yeah i'm actually gonna do my hair tomorrow morning because i have an event to go to so i'm gonna be doing my hair before the event so i can look fresh and cute and rats to go, and you know, cause you know, the, your girl stay with somewhere to go. She stay with somewhere to be. <laughs> period, 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 period. And I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, vloggy vlog. 
so it is the next morning. We are gonna be installing this wig, the sirens. We are gonna be installing this wig from Love Me Hair. I'm a little bit on a time crunch, and I'm so thankful because this gorgeous wig is actually a closure unit, which means I don't gotta do the whole, like, laying down a whole ball cap and all that stuff. I'm literally going to slap this thing on and be out the door, because I need to leave in 30 minutes. But this is a gorgeous, like, look at this. The texture is like a really natural, like, loose curl, which I really like, because it kind of looks like it could be my natural hair if it was like i don't know blown out and then put into a, put in braids and then unbraided like it just has a very loose curl texture which i really like it is a closure hd lace you know love me hair is always gonna have hd lace bomb hd lace at that they always sew the band in for you which i absolutely love there are combs along the crown and the nape of the neck and then adjustable straps keep it flat as possible and I'm gonna put it in two braids. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put on a Love Me Hair wig, like slap it on and go, because they come really customized and they come more ready to wear. Um, so I'm gonna slap this on. These nails are so cute, but they're so long. Two braids, I'm gonna tuck on my neck, put my wig cap on. This is also the first time I've ever had charms on my nails, and I think that's also what's like tripping me up. But look at how cute. I'm just gonna slide the wig cap back. I'm gonna take my even lace bond. So the hairstyle I'm trying to do is like that 90s half up, half down. Well, it's not even a half up, but it's like, everybody's been doing it lately. I've done it on my natural hair. I've been seeing everyone do it, it looks so cute. Now that that's stuck down, I'm gonna take an elastic band. Nope, the hairline. So the hairstyle I wanna do, right? Maybe further back. And then this back section, I'm gonna just clip up for right now. But I basically need to, what do I wanna use to lay this? Clip, I mean not clip, but tie this under here like this. Let me actually remove the band now. Sounds like there's so much going on outside. This looks super cute already. Okay, so I tied that back section down, right? You can cut the lace off, but it's like dead, right? And then I think I wanna tie, like clip up this top section. It's giving like, you know, real effortless. Yeah, so. I have these two sections pulled under here and tied together. And then I just sectioned off like a top section, like a half up. Yeah. Take my claw clip and then clip that so that I can have this like this. Oh! So I'm gonna take my razor. Like, oh my gosh, HD lace, babes, HD. Perfection. Perfection. I'm gonna take a little bit of the hairspray on the back of my hand. This might be the quickest install I've ever done. Thank God this was a closure. Okay, now to really like make it look like it's mine, right? I'm gonna just pull out some of my edges right here. That's what's really gonna sell this sucker. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. You don't have to do this. Like, it didn't look bad the way that it was. I could put some mousse in this, but I, I really like the way it looks 
little bit of my even edge booster. After the mousse, I have to set them with an actual edge control or they're not gonna stick. Nah, this is really giving that it's my hair. Like, I'm gonna put some concealer in the part and you can't tell me nothing, this is my hair. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed. Okay, so I'm back, dressed. I did my skincare. I wanna add baby hairs. Okay, so I pulled out baby hairs on this side. I want it to look supernatural, so I'm gonna try and make it look like my, the way my natural baby hairs would curl. Thin it out just a little bit. I plugged in my mini flat iron, my pencil flat iron, to curl towards my forehead. As I like this mousse because as it dries, it starts to get it starts to get sticky, and then the hair will actually like stay. But I think that already looks really good like so much better my wax stick and i'm gonna put this right here at the top and then take my hot comb yeah you can't tell me this is not my hair it's giving my hair I absolutely love the hair with the baby hairs. Like, I feel like it just really just took it up another level. Cause I got a big forehead and I don't know, I feel like I needed the baby hairs, but now that I have them, I feel like this is such a cute style. Like, it literally looks like it's my hair. I didn't tint this lace. I didn't tweeze the hairline. I literally just tweezed the baby hairs when I just did them. I didn't do anything to this wig. You saw me slap it on and go, and I came back, and I just added baby hairs. Like, that's really the only customizing that I did, but I'm obsessed. Like, it's literally giving, this is my hair. And the fullness of the wig is very natural. Like, it's a very natural amount of hair. So, and the length too. So this really could look like it's my hair, which I really love. And then I might even take pictures. So I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna come back so we can see like the end result. You guys, I finished doing my makeup. This is the final look. This is maintenance done. I mean, for the most part, like I shaved in the shower, I waxed, I did my brows. I did my hair, I did my nails. The makeup came out so freaking cute. I actually recorded it for an Instagram reel. This wig is honestly probably gonna be one of my favorites. One, because it's a closure and it's so easy to install. Two, because it looks so natural. Like, it literally looks like my hair. Like, you can't tell me. I'm sorry, you just can't. Like, if you try to tell me, I'm gonna be like, are you dumb? This is literally my hair. Like this is growing out of my scalp. 
it's actually super long if you guys enjoyed this maintenance vlog then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below go ahead and smash the thumbs i'm just like obsessed with my nails <laughs> make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the tribe okay because we are growing every single day there's new videos three times a week i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you in my next upload bye